Welcome back to Sam Roberts Show. With me again, although it's been about, what, probably a, two years, maybe, maybe a year or two, Chloe Grace Moretz is here. Chloe, welcome. Hello. Thank you for having me. How are you? Good. Chilly outside. It is chilly. Good. We were just talking about that and how you'd uh, spent the holidays in, in Aspen. Oh, no, I don't go to Aspen. I don't know. You said Colorado. Look, I figure. I, it sounds waspy, oh. but I'm not that waspy. Jeez. <laughs> well, I f- and then all the movies and everything. It's like, okay, we're Stop we're it. taking a break from filming <laughs> to go to Aspen for two weeks. Mariah Carey and I. Right. It wasn't yeah, Aspen, though. No, it wasn't Aspen. Where in Colorado do you go? Telluride, Colorado. It what? is like the less bougie version of all of the other bougie okay. places to go. Yeah, because I don't know it. Um, it's, you know, it's actually really small. It's like a population of like 2,000. Mm-hmm. It's this tiny little town, and it really is like just a ski town. And that's your family's tradition. You go there every year. Yeah, for the last like nine years now. Okay, so it's not like, okay, we got a little Hollywood success in the family. No. We can go. What is your family? No. How does your family handle that now in terms of, obviously you're working, especially now. Uh-huh. You're working all the time. Yeah. So... Is your family, like, a grounding influence? Yeah, for sure. I mean, the way they look at it is, like, no matter how much fame or success I get, like, I will always be the lowest on the totem pole because I am the youngest kid in the family and the only girl. Yeah. That it's just, like, there's no... There's no room for anything dramatic. So you're not the special one with your brothers? No. No. (laughs) No. No. Like, sometimes it's, like, cool because, like, oh, look, we can, like, go do a crazy vacation if we want you to, like, this crazy place. Right, right. That's about it. They're like, okay, thanks. Yeah. How did they start? You're done here. How did they start handling it when people were, like, recognizing you and Um, and you had to actually make considerations for the fact that you do have to, Yeah. you know, kind of get around that? They got, like, overly protective with that because they were kind of creeped out, like, why are you looking at my sister that way? Especially when you were so young. Exactly. Yeah. When I was 11 years old, 12 years old, like, they were definitely very creeped out about it. Even if it was people my age, they were just kind of worried for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because so. you can't trust strangers. No. <laughs> no. No, especially when they know who you are. Right. See, that's the problem. That it's one thing when a stranger, but when they know who you are, and half of them think that, that well, you know them. That's what's creepy is, like, I'll be in the airport, like, hey, Chloe, and I'm like, hey, I don't know you. Yeah. Like, uh, it's you not. Forget. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have to try to, do you, do you do anything to try to avoid it, or do you just roll with it? Honestly, I, I, whenever I try to avoid it, it's when it happens. Right. It's when I go out not hiding my face with a baseball cap, not wearing sunglasses inside. Like, if I go out like a regular person and I <laughs> yeah. don't act like a weirdo. Not looking no, conspicuous. Exactly. If I go run around in a baseball cap and, a, and glasses, I'm, anyone's going to stare at that. Right. Because you're like, what you doing over there? Like, somebody's like, hiding in that corner. Yeah, what are you doing over there, creeper? <laughs> right. You got yeah. a trench coat with like the collar no. pulled up. Like, no, just a normal it's person like here. Fedora. Yeah. No. It doesn't work. That's it doesn't work at all. Have you liked, uh, well, do you like now that you're transitioning out of being like a, a child, child actor? Mm-hmm. Do you like the fact that you're just now getting to, you're getting to the place where you're just an actor? Yeah. It's nice because like I, you know, it's nice just, just in the fact that like I have better roles. To yeah. look at, like, yeah. that's what's exciting for me. It's like, oh, cool! I can play a college student, which still isn't even like a real adult. But at the same time, I'm I'm able to just play larger characters, mm-hmm. bigger characters, more in depth characters, um, and that's what that's what's exciting about it. And it's amazing too because most of the time, like college kids are played by like thirty year olds. Yeah. So you get to actually continuously be, be play a your age. Kid yeah. In college, you know what I mean. Playing a college kid. Yeah. So it's nice. Yeah. Well, the new movie is called Fifth Wave. Uh-huh. And this is like a big action movie. Mm-hmm. Do you know how to shoot before you did it? Did you learn? I mean, uh, shoot a gun, not a, a yeah. camera. Well, because of shoot a camera. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. I, uh, you know, because of kick ass, I've known a lot about guns since I was 10 years old. Like, right. I shot my first gun when I was 10 years old. I know how to take apart guns, put them mm-hmm. back together. I know a lot about it. Um, so, actually, in this film, it was interesting because I'm playing a young woman who has no prior training, has no courage behind, you know, what they're with a finger on the trigger, or mm-hmm. pulling pulling a, pulling the trigger at anything, um, much less something living. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It moves and it has moves a soul. It moves and has a soul. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, that, I had to keep being reminded to act more spastic because right. I'm a very controlled person. Like, I know exactly where I am. I'm yeah. very, like, tactical. And 
I kept having to be reminded by my director, like, you've never done this before. Yeah. You've never held a gun So you before. actually had to, like, defamiliarize yourself yeah. with the whole thing. Actually, yeah. Because I, there was one scene, uh, and, and the movie's great. It's like a, it, it's like an alien, end of the world type of movie, uh-huh. but it's all young people. It's all, yeah. like, kids and, and, and young adults. But, yeah. uh, and you're in basically the entire film. Yeah. And there's a lot of running. Like, besides, like, five scenes. Right. Like, there's so much running. R- yeah. Did you do cardio? Did you have to there's get your cardio so up? Running. Yeah. 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 It's horrible. There's you, a lot of running. There's this scene where you pull a gun out and like you check to see if it's loaded and you just take the clip out and look and put the clip back in and I'm like even that I would have no <laughs> clue. I I just started I'm like what's she going to do? Cuz I knew I'm like I wonder if the gun's loaded. She's just going to have to start shooting it to find out. <laughs> you're like no, there are you ways. You would just start pulling the trigger <laughs> yeah, hoping start... nothing comes out of the end or something. It's like okay, if there's one bullet in there, there's got to like, be more. Hey, I hope this doesn't work. Oh, it worked. <laughs> it's loaded. Oh, it worked. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. that was where my mind went instantly That's like, well, really funny. How do you find out if a gun is loaded? You pull the trigger. <laughs> oh my god, no. No, you don't. That's the worst. That's literally the worst possible idea you could ever have with a loaded gun. Is that right? Yes. Oh, I didn't know. You never pull the trigger. <laughs> Until you check not just if there's a clip in it, but you have to pull the, uh, you have to pull it. You have to pull oh, the yeah, that's the other thing I See, was thinking. Because sometimes it'll be in the barrel. Right. Yeah. Right. But it, you cl- the clip's out, but there's still one in the barrel. So when you're talking to guys now that you have all this information yeah. that, like, a manly man should know. Yeah. Like, a man no, should know. No, I talk not- to, like, I talk to manly, like, army guys all the time about this. Right. But then I talk to guys my age, and they're so, they have no idea what to talk about. That's what I mean. Like, dudes that hang out with you, they're just your age. You've got to be like, oh. I took a guy on a date to a gun range. But you took him. Yes. Yes, of course you did. And all the guys at the gun range were, like, trying to ask him, like, so what what rifle do you guys want to rent? And I was like, I got this. Because he was like, I never shot a gun before. Yeah. And I was like, we'll have a forty-five caliber. Wow. See, to me, I feel like I would instantly be, I'd be sitting there panicking. (laughs) Because I'd be like, how do I make up for the fact that I don't have any of this man information? That's That's exactly what happened. And he blew the clip off the top. Like, (laughs) it was horrible. It was horrible. I gave him a shotgun, like a double barrel, huge shotgun. Is this just now you're mocking him? Shotgun. I just wanted to see it happen. Yeah. And he didn't know how to hold it. (laughs) And he shot it, and the gun just went like flying up. And I was like, oh my God. Chloe, this Keep is it. Keep it down, Rage. I'm never going out with you again. You have terrible <laughs> ideas. Welcome. Welcome yeah. to the life of dating Chloe, who is more of a man than some men sometimes. It's got to be intimidating. You know how to fight. <laughs> you can run now. I watch a lot of hockey. You do. I'm literally a dude. I'm a, I am play more video games than most of my guy friends. What video games do you like? Um, I play a lot of Assassin's Creed, actually. Wow. Because it's just it's just such a large. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them. But I also play a lot of Battlefield online. See, I was this is, and I like asking that question because a lot of girls are like, I play a lot of video um, games. Call of Duty. Yeah, or they'll go like, oh, mainly Modern like Warfare. Mario and stuff. I'm like, you're not playing Mario anymore. No, you just uh, made that up. That's not real. To try to appeal to like, like the geeks. You don't know what you're talking about. It's like, oh, I really love Star Wars. Which one's your favorite? Uh, the Force Awakens. <laughs> I literally. You mean the newest one? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I literally know people, and they're girls. Who will walk around with like Star Wars stuff on? Like they'll have a T-shirt, shoot whatever it is, and I'll like throw a line at them. (laughs) And they're like, and they're just looking at me like I'm the nerd. And I'm like, you're you're faking it. You're wearing it. (laughs) Yeah. What are you saying? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So I have an issue with that. Have you always been a tomboy? I mean, I grew up with four older brothers. Right. so. So like. I grew like that. Like I learned to play basketball and football and soccer before I learned to play with a doll. Oh like I gosh. never played with dolls. Yeah, but like, you know how to do all those things. Yeah, yeah. I uh, just grew up doing it. Yeah, I, I, just, like, I didn't grow up doing any of it. <laughs> and even now, I was just thinking about the video game thing. I was like, I, I'm terrible at video games too. Really? I tried to put. I got the new Fallout game. Oh, fun! And I put it in, and I was playing it, but I got like 45 minutes in, and they were like, "Okay, unlock this lock with a bobby pin." No. And I was like, I don't have any bobby pins. I don't know where to find bobby pins. Oh and I gave up. I quit. You just stopped. I shot like oh three God, people, no. and then I had no bobby pins. You just want to run around and like shoot people and get a parachute. That Yeah, that's Buffalo why Ridge. I like like the Grand Theft Auto yeah. games. You put a code in. Yeah. It gives you all the weapons. And then you just run around shooting people. Exactly. I feel like I'd be a terrible survivalist. Yeah. Dude, yeah. <laughs> you're like, yeah. yeah I maybe. think you probably would. I probably would suck too, though. You think so? I hate the wilderness. You do. That's the thing is that that's what makes me not very manly. Mm-hmm. Is that I really don't like the actual wilderness. Like the woods. I do. Oh my god. No. You don't mind the outdoors. 
in general. I love like the outdoors in general. I love going on hikes and yeah. being outside. But I I would hate to be in a sleeping bag in the dirt. Right. Because of just I have a real phobia of insects. Oh. And plus, like once you get out in the woods, you, that's all those it, insects you itches. never see. I'm allergic yeah. to things. Everything itches when you're out in the woods. I just I can't deal with so it. So you don't you're not a camper. No. You don't like tents either. No. No. Like I'll do like a like I wouldn't mind if I was in a camper. In a camper. Right. Like a like drivable an RV. camper. Or have you seen glamping that people glamp? Yeah, but that's just bougie. It is. Like now you're just like getting at it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I can't be bothered that far with it. I mean, it's pretty amazing that you haven't gotten, because most people your age who have gotten to where you've gotten to and have been so successful would start being like, even if it doesn't naturally appeal to them, like they'd start, I think we're, I'm supposed to be glamping. I, I think I'm. I think I should be driving a Range Rover. Right, exactly. I think so. I don't, I don't even really want one. <laughs> yeah. I can afford it. It's like, no, that's not my style. So what kind of car do you drive? Uh, well, I am a car girl. Um, you like cars too. Yeah. Oh, so everything is like guys. I t- stuff. I'm telling you, I'm like a dude. It's and I'm not saying it because I want guys to like me. Right. That's the thing. It's like I don't say it because I want a guy to be like, oh yeah, there's the girl who plays video games. Because here, it's so hot. What know? happens is you say it, yeah. and then guys are like, oh, I love her. Yeah. And then they meet and you, and you, meet you, and, and you you're actually do. You're either a liar, or or you actually do, and you're intimidating. And they're intimidating. Right. Yeah. Right. So what yeah. kind of what kind of cars do you like? Um, well, you know, my brother, Ethan, he, like, wanted to be an engineer growing up. Like, he's the type of kid that I could have bought him a box set of different cars, and he would just play with them for hours. Mm-hmm. So I grew up watching, like, car shows with him. Yeah. Like, just literally watching auctions on TV. Like, like That's what you'd watch. That's what we would watch together. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's horrible. Um, so for me, like I, I really enjoy the more classic cars. Like I, there's a 1968 Ferrari that I really, really like. Uh-huh. And if I ever one day want to splurge crazy and buy something, that's the that's one. most likely what I'll buy. Yeah. Um, but like right now, I drive a, I drive a Mercedes GLE. Okay. Fifty. It's still a nice car. Yeah, it's a great car. Yeah. It's you know what I like about it is it's I it's fast and uh-huh. that's what I enjoy. You like driving fast. I I enjoy that. Have you gotten pulled over? You know, <laughs> yeah. You have, right? But it's a really bad story. What do you mean? Because it's really kind of inappropriate because I got off. Well, that's what I was going to say. That's when but you I start being like, <laughs> have you guys seen... uh taking a selfie. Uh, no way. <laughs> so the cop pulls you over because you're speeding. But, okay, I was on a cross-country trip. Okay. okay. So I was in Kansas. Okay, which, so this isn't like you're out in L.A. You're in no, Kansas. I'm in, I'm in Kansas, and it's literally the straightest, flattest road you've ever seen. Okay. And the speed limit's like 80 out there. Right. There's like no speed limit. Right. So we're just driving. It's like the you Autobahn. I mean? Yes. Yes. You don't even like know how fast you're going. You're just going. You have one point that you need to get to, and you're this far away. You have 300 miles in front of you. Mm-hmm. Like, I got to go. So, you know, you're drinking, like, 10 Red Bulls. You're, like, super wired. <laughs> yeah. Out of it because you've been up for, like, 48 hours. And we're just driving. We're trying to get to Colorado from Kansas. You can imagine how far that is. Yeah. So the pedal to the metal. I'm probably going, like, you know, 20 miles above the speed limit. So about, you, and you just mentioned <laughs> that the speed limit was 80. So let me do some quick math. <laughs> quick math. I'll carry the two up and, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. what's that, like uh, 100 miles 100 an hour? 100 miles an hour. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and I get pulled over by a state trooper. Oh, boy, and does that look so bad. on? sweet, But though. that looks really bad on a ticket. Like it TMZ, po- Chloe really Grace Moretz, 100, 100 miles, miles an hour. hour. But no one would understand. Right. They think I'm like, you know, Justin Bieber drag race. No. I'm like, no, I'm not. It's all context. Um, And I was like, he was like, where do I? registration i was like oh my god i'm driving this car i don't even know where the registration is like, <laughs> let me find it so i'm like on my phone like looking for the registration i'm like oh here it is here's my proof of insurance and he's like what is this like a rental car what is this and i was like um i work with mercedes and so technically it's like their car so i don't really know where everything is in it and he's like oh are you famous <laughs> and i was like um I hate some could say that. Like literally yeah. so I I responded like super sweet. I was like, some some might say I am. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> and um, <laughs> he goes, 
are you that girl from Kick Ass? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, um, yeah, it was like guilty as charged. Yeah. Like, mm. And he's like, he just sits there for a second. And he's like, I'm gonna let this off on a warning. And I was like, oh my oh, god, my. <laughs> oh my god, really? But he's also- like, and then he goes. But can I get a selfie with you for my wife? And I was like, <laughs> for your wife? Sure. Yeah. For your wife, okay. Right. But then I took a selfie with him. Right. That was it. Well, that's where your brothers need to respect what, everything that you do. Because you're like, just well, if you're going to speed. Well, now my brothers are like, great, you're in the car, we can right. speed. I'm like, no, right. no. Right. <laughs> it especially, doesn't work this way. Especially if you're in a small town. Oh, forget about it. Yeah, like I wouldn't want to try that in like Miami or LA right, or like right. any place. No, I wouldn't want to do it there because they will purposefully like oh, yeah. arrest me. They love just so they can say like Officer McCannon or whatever. Like right. arrested right. Chloe Grace Moretz, and then they be but like, like she's this, crazy. This dude is going to be able to go home to his wife. Like, this is going to be. I I pulled over Hit Girl. It's like the story <laughs> of forever. Now I got the selfie. She tried to hit me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she didn't even know where her insurance was. <laughs> Nothing. Whoa. Yeah. He was amazing. a sweet man, though. If you hear this, thank you, sir. That's amazing. You're a sweetheart. Yeah, obviously. Thank you so much. Yeah, he could have gotten you in a lot of trouble. And I respect the law. I would never go that fast to other places. <laughs> that was the last time you ever sped, right? I was very tired. <laughs> right, right. Well, then it was bad, You're also though. not supposed to admit to obvi- drink, uh, 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 driving while tired. <laughs> it's almost as bad, I no, said. No, it is. Yes. Yeah, no, it, they, they, you know, you can get, like, basically, it's like DUI. Right. It's kind of like along the same but level. There's no sobriety test for being tired. <laughs> so try to catch it. Um you're also do you feel like you've had any professional setbacks since like I mean I know you started acting when you were like six. Like a like a real professional setback. No. But like from from being hit girl, it seems like it's had this sort of real nice yeah. upturn where it's, it's nice and slow and everything's kind of doing it's what it's supposed really to be doing. Calm, which is nice. I'm I'm happy because I didn't get any like crazy Oscar nomination at a young age. Like, right. I never had anything that was like, and you're done here. Right. Like, you're welcome. You're done. Right. I was lucky to be like, I'm a real slow burn. And it's nice because, yeah, I have these big projects like Fifth Wave and Carrie and If I Stay and, mm-hmm. you know, Little Mermaid. But it's not like I'm being blown out, out of proportion. You right. Know, I'm not being too acclaimed, too young. Right. Although, you have to sit there questioning your Twitter influence sometimes. Yeah. Because all you do is tweet out, about not wanting to have red hair as the Little Mermaid, it's and so you got bad. all the Disney fanatics it's being so like, bad. "What?" Yeah, people freak out. So are you gonna insist? Because you're, you're. I barely said said anything. <laughs> I, I didn't know. even like mean to say anything. I was just like, then I was having like a nice conversation. I was like, I don't even know what color hair it'll be. It might be blonde. It might be red. It might be blue. I don't know. Right. And they were like, "What? <laughs> not red hair?" <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Because you're gonna be in the your Ariel, I guess, in the live action. Yeah. Little Mermaid movie. Yeah. Are you going to insist now that the hair is red based on that I feedback? I don't care anymore. You're just Whatever. Like, I don't even want to play anymore. I don't anymore. even know what the color will be. <laughs> I'm just happy to be the mermaid. It's really not supposed to be that big of a deal. All I'm saying, you know, it's, the real question is what color are the scales going to be? Right. I'm not going to start that, though. That's you have red scales and green hair. <laughs> <laughs> just like really... Really, really, really mess the system up. You know, really give it to them. So Fifth Wave is out on January 22nd. It is. After that, you got Little Mermaid at some point. You're going to be in Neighbors, the sequel to Neighbors, the Seth Rogen Neighbors movie. Uh That's amazing. Have you filmed that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How much fun was that? Amazing. I mean, it was just like a raucous, you know, total balls out, really raunchy, raunchy comedy. Like, you're going to see stuff from me that... you guys have not seen yet. Really? So good luck. And I mean, you started early with the with the with the language, at least. Yeah, but this is just a whole different world. <laughs> it's a world like the character we created is interesting. It's very funny. So what do you like, family? I know we've we're now finally after years we're over Hit Girl and everything I did to you then. Wait until you to see neighbors too. Yeah. I said to my like more religious side of my family, my cousins, I was like, mm. so just fair warning. There are a lot of explicit things in this movie. <laughs> yeah. There are some, there's drug use involved. Right, I'm like, right. here's all of it. Don't hate me. Right. Well, show them neighbors. Because the... it's comedy. It's just jokes. It's just jokes. <laughs> and you could show them the first neighbors and be like, see? It's along the it's same a, it's, lines. It's a little and... worse. Right. But it's comedy. It's comedy. And, and this is when you have to pull out the, 
I know, guys. I don't want to do it either, but it's my job. It's my job. It's oh, just work. It's so tiring. <laughs> yeah, it's just exhausting. It's exhausting. And then is there anything else coming out that you're um, looking forward to? Yeah, I mean, I have this movie called November Criminals coming out with mm-hmm. Ansel Elgort, which is like this really interesting film. And I have this other movie called Brain on Fire, which is like an art house film that I have coming out. Amazing. Um, yeah. Amazing. And then are you, you going to take a break at any Very point? Very busy. Or? Yeah. Good. I'm very busy lady. Good. No, um, I, uh, yeah, so I'm, I, you know, I'm, I'm releasing a lot this year, and then I'm filming Mermaid from March to September. That's a, then, you have to film for that long? Yeah. Man. Water tanks and stuff. I guess so. Yeah. Wow, you gotta do some David Blaine stuff where you're just holding your breath yeah. for hours. Days. It's days. Really. <laughs> yeah, days. It's really days. It is days, isn't it? Days. Do you still eat hot dogs? <laughs> you know, I was looking at the interview last night. I was like, "Oh, what did we talk about do last time?" Do you still eat hot dogs? And we were we brought up we brought up hot dogs last time. You know what's time. sad yeah. is uh, like not because I want to be. I'm not doing this because I'm like a bougie white girl. Right. I am gluten and dairy intolerant. What? I didn't know this. <laughs> I didn't know why I was getting so sick from everything. <laughs> and then like... I finally realized why I was getting so sick. Uh huh. So are there gluten's in hot dogs? Well, I can't have the bun. Oh, so you'd just be eating. I mean, I still do it. Like, I still cook myself up a hot dog and chop it up with some ketchup. There it is. But, you know, <laughs> there it is. I do get down and dirty. <laughs> but... Chopped up hot dog and ketchup. Hey, it's dope. There it is. It is. It's amazing. It's really good. You're a very relatable person, I just Chloe. miss the, the nasty, cheap buns. I know. I love those steamy, almost wet buns. Oh, yeah, and it's like papery. There's no bread oh, in it. God, There's no it's ingredients. So fake. It's But it's good. Oh, it's delicious! It's like it's like a soft cardboard. It's amazing. Salty. Well, never, uh, never lose Easy. your essence. Oh. Okay. You know. I don't think you will. To tell you the truth. Yeah, I think it's. I you think know? it's pretty cemented. You can't. You can't get this frat boy out of my body. No, that's what I am. And you, if you come in here, because you're gonna keep coming in, I'm gonna keep requesting interviews with you. Yes. The day that you come in here and you've changed. I'm gonna get out of uh, here. Get the hell out of my studio. Get the hell out of here. All right, but you can now leave on good terms. Uh, and uh, go back to your day. Thank you very much okay. for stopping by, Chloe Grace Moretz. Thank you. And everybody you. see uh, Fifth Wave on January 22nd. Ron Livingston is also in it. Yeah. From Office Space. And He's the, great. The, uh, your mom is from Sons of Anarchy. Yeah. So it's uh, in... Uh, Leave Schreiber. Leave Schreiber's in from it, yeah. From everything. From everything. Every, Sabretooth. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Sabretooth, guys. <laughs> yeah. The number one. Number one. Thank you very much, Chloe. Thanks. Hey, it's Sam Roberts back here in the Sirius XM studio with the most flattering camera angle that I could find. Listen to my show every night on XM 103, Sirius 206. It's Sam Roberts' show, Monday through Friday, starting at 9 p.m. Eastern and going all the way to midnight. Eastern at 6 p.m. on the West. We got celebrities all the time. You just saw a celebrity interview. If you want more and you want to find them as soon as they get uploaded to this channel, go to the side of the page and subscribe. You can get all kinds of celebrity interviews, clips from my show, wrestling stuff. You never know what you're going to find on the Not Sam YouTube channel. So subscribe.